Hi, we're here with State Senator Larry Abhoff. Uh, Senator, thanks so much for being here. No problem. Glad to be here. I wanted to get your impressions so far of the convention. This is day one. What do you think? Uh, I think it's been a pretty good event so far. It's been a hectic couple of days uh, for the people who've been here, but it's been a great opportunity to showcase uh, how much turnaround Cleveland has had in the last 10 to 15 years. And I think it's been a good opportunity for myself and a number of other people from here in Ohio to share the Ohio story with people from around the country. And when you're telling people that Ohio story, tell us what the reactions are. Sure. I, I think it's been a good experience uh, for everyone involved because it's given, it's given me and a number of other people the opportunity to tell people about conservative principles in action. Uh, you hear Republicans on the campaign trail often talk about lower taxes, less regulation, smaller government. And here in Ohio, we've really done that over the last five to six years. And because of that, I think we've seen a strong economic turnaround. We've added over 400,000 uh, net new private sector jobs, and uh, things are looking up. Of course, you're one of uh, many lawmakers who endorsed John Kasich for president. Yes. What are you looking for from a Donald Trump campaign? Well, like everyone else, uh, I think in our delegation who's here today, I, I intend to vote for John Kasich this week. Um, for John Kasich? Yes. Um, okay. yeah. And uh, moving forward, I think this week gives Donald Trump the opportunity to put forward his vision to the rest of the country. And he'll have several months to do that. Uh, and he's picked, uh, I believe, a, a very strong running mate who will give him the opportunity to reach out to a lot of voters and show the track record that he's had in Indiana and uh, explain to the country how those types of principles in action could work for the other states. So has um, the selection of Governor Pence helped you and made you more reassured about Trump? I, I think that the selection of Governor Pence reassures a lot of people. I think that he has a good track record. I think that the governor before him in Indiana also had a strong track record. And uh, it's good to see somebody from the Midwest uh, who's got some conservative principles and who's actually um, shown leadership uh, throughout his tenure uh, be able to be part of the ticket. So uh, being in the Ohio delegation, is there a part of the convention that you guys get, being the hometown kids, get to see that other delegates might not get to see or any special VIP stuff? There are, there are a lot of events uh, throughout the uh, week. and. Uh, uh, people from all over the country will be attending those, but uh, but I think there is a substantial number of events that the Ohio delegation specifically are involved in. For example, there was a, a Leonard Skinner concert last night that uh, Speaker Rosenberger helped host, and uh, I know a number of people who went to that. Uh, so uh, those things prevent a good opportunity for people around the state of Ohio to get to know each other and, and talk about the issues. But uh, more importantly, I think with some of the other events, you see the opportunity for people from Ohio to speak with people from other states and and tell them about what's going on here and, and maybe learn from some of the experiences of people in other states as well. So the speaker's bringing uh, or brought in Leonard Skinner. Who are you going to bring in? What's your time? <laughs> well, I, I'm not uh, bringing in anybody this week, but uh, we will have an event at uh, Gray's Armory on Wednesday from 4 to 6 uh, for the... Um, uh, state senators in the Republican caucus from Northeast Ohio, so myself, uh, Senator Patton, Senator Manning, uh, Senator LaRose, and Senator Eklund, and, and we'll get the opportunity at that point to share some of the stories about the things that we've worked on, um, the issues that we think have really led the way and helped turn around the state of Ohio. Looking ahead in November, uh, uh, many senators as well as every state representative is up for re-election or election. Do you think Donald Trump's candidacy will help or hurt the state legislative candidates? Well, I, I think that that remains to be seen. And uh, again, Donald Trump will get his opportunity this week to put forward his arguments and, and his vision for the future of the country. And, and next week, Hillary Clinton will do the same. And they'll have a few months after that to really get the message out to voters and, and see what resonates and what doesn't. Uh, right now, I'm personally focused, and most of my colleagues, I believe, are focused on uh, driving turnout, telling our story, telling our message uh, about what we've done at the state level to help turn around the state and uh, to drive turnout to help Rob Portman because, uh, frankly, we have one of the best senators in, in the United States Senate working for us right now. And uh, his opponent is, is someone who, as governor, I think had a fairly poor track record. And I think if you're looking to get the rest of the country moving in the right direction, you want somebody who's working hard, who's doing the job well, uh, not somebody who oversaw the loss of 350,000 jobs. Great. Well, Senator, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much.